It was one of several rain delays across the country in college football here in Oxford, Ohio. Rain and thunder and lightning for a period of two and a half hours. That was earlier today, but now time for college football. The weather is cleared. It's the dinner time start and the rematch between Marshall and Miami. Doc has chosen the redshirt freshman quarterback Isaiah Green, and he's got a great target in Tyree Brady. And it's going to be big for Isaiah Green, the redshirt freshman getting his first start out here. They've got a new offense they were installing, kept a lot of the terminology the same. But if you look at Tyree Brady, the transfer from the University of Miami, a big play receiver, almost 1,000 yards receiving a couple years ago, he's going to be the guy that they're going to need to get going. Sunshine has engulfed Yeager Stadium for this 6.04 Eastern time start. Ready for college football. Has to be very aware of Keon Davis, number 24. And Keon is electric. Three career touchdown returns. He starts fast. This is something they worked on a lot. Last year, Miami was gashed by the Marshall kickoff return. That was the difference in the game. Look for the Red Hawks to really get that taken care of. And I know Chuck Martin wants to get it done right. This is Sam Sloman kicking off to the end zone, about three yards deep. That'll prevent any type of return. And replay official is Harold Dynas. On the outside, that's Davis running against this Miami defense. He had over 800 yards last year, so did Tyler King. They got away from it at times. I think they would be much more committed and dedicated to the run. So after the deep shot, you saw him taking it back on the ground. And from the 46, tough pass into coverage is caught for a pickup of eight, close to nine yards. So we've seen the rookie quarterback in action so far. Any impressions? He looks good. I like taking a shot, getting it started early on, trying to make the big play. because. Red Hawks third best defensively last year in the conference, allowing 24 points. Now it's a quarterback keep design play. Green's got the first down and down to the 35 yard line, a pickup and 10. And immediately Marshall's offense is in gear. And that's something that you're gonna see there with Isaiah Green, he's pretty big, 6'2", 200 pounds. You know, they, they overload the defense to the field. Showing blitz. Not coming though, Green's got time to throw. Released, first down and maybe then some. To the two yard line. We talk a lot about Brady, but he's got Xavier Gaines as one of the tight ends he can find. So Xavier Gaines is hanging out there at the wing at the top of the screen. They run a little play action pass over there to him. And with that, they're gonna go in a hurry up, but they're able to get him down the seam behind that Red Hawks defense on the perimeter. Good for 33 yards, first and goal from the two to Davis. Straight ahead, Marshall touchdown. Wow, that was quick. It was quick, and that's the commitment of the run by Marshall. They were able to mix it up there, try to push the ball down the field at times, take their shots, but you saw him with the commitment to the run with Keon Davis getting behind a big physical offensive line, and you can see him here. Just a zone scheme downhill, Keon Davis getting behind his pads and bowling in. 75 yard drive, and Bobby, the biggest play was to a kid get from, from, get, get this, this. Frostproof, Frost Florida. Absolutely, and you see the play action right there to Keon Davis. Xavier Gaines sneaking up right there. Putting the Lonzo Smith now in the backfield for quarterback Ragland. Miami down, 7 0, early first quarter. Shine and now on the field and in the stadium after a lengthy delay this afternoon. Straight drop for Raglan. Over the middle. Nearly picked. He's looking for Andrew Homer right there. He had Homer in the scene. Talented athlete. And these are these versatile guys. Him and Nate Becker, number 44, the two tight ends. They like to mix. Go with 12 personnel, two tight ends on the field. You see Gus Raglan hanging the pocket. Delivered a bullet just a little bit behind him. And uh, I believe that was Chase Hancock in there getting in on the play, who's the preseason all-conference linebacker for Marshall, who's been a mainstay for a couple of years. Yeah, fifth-year senior on it, Daniels, West Virginia. Former walk-on. Again, a man in motion. Running off tackle here, not much available. Depends on the spot, maybe a couple of yards. Third and long, and this Marshall defense is out making some action right now especially with Hancock. Hancock's flying around making plays. Chuck Martin staying with the run right here. A little jet sweep trying to get downhill but you see Hancock shedding blocks. 
getting in there, making plays, being very aggressive. Well said. We'll see his son, Kurt, and in Indiana State next week against Louisville on a run on first down of five yards. It's going to be a steady diet of Davis and Tyler King, number three. Up and down the field, scoring touchdowns three or four times in the red zone, almost 50% on third down. And had the ball for 35 minutes and somehow came out with a loss. I know Chuck Martin wanted to rip his hair out. This is a series, yeah, it's been long in the making, long time running, and Marshall has dominated it lately. And the Red Hawks are looking to turn this thing around here this afternoon. Didn't you see Chuck Martin the next week after they lost to Marshall? Said, we're not having that happen again. No more return touchdowns against us. Green, a little safety valve pass to Obi. Obi Alo. Obilo and Obialo had last year 19 catches for 238 yards. Marshall averaged eight yards a carry in first down, and now they're going to go to the bag of tricks. And on that play, Tyler King carries the football up close to midfield. And another unique formation set. If you look at this, the two running back set again, I believe is that Anthony Anderson in there up at the top, tossing it to Tyler King. Anthony Anderson's a little more of a power back out there on the lead. King picks up eight. You no, know, it's interesting you mentioned Brady. He has already drawn 30 yards in pass interference penalties. And so he's ready to have the completions, but that allows them to lighten the box. And you see right here where they, they're able to get the running game going a little bit. This is going to be a big opportunity here. You see the Red Hawks uh, subbing in some of their big run stopping personnel to try to be able to take care of this uh, Marshall Thundering Herd offense. Entries being packaged right now on a run play, and they get the first down. They needed two. The herd gets four on the carry by Anthony Anderson, considered to be the big back on this team, and likely the third down back. Now five. He's going to keep it, and he gets four on the play to the 16. Take Isaiah Green got the start prior to today's game, at least officially listed as the starter, and so far is not disappointed. You see right here what they're doing is they're trying to count the guys in the box. How many safeties do they see deep? How about this overhang player at the bottom of the screen? Do they think he's a pass or a run guy? Green makes a couple of guys miss, and look at him go. Well, this is the reason that Doc Holliday chose him as the starting quarterback today, one of those reasons anyway. Well, we talked to Tim Crampsey earlier when they are talking about this. He said Green just has the it factor, and Miami's bringing pressure. You see Junior McMullen. Push him, push him in the pocket, flush him out. But I see Green able to pull it down. Green has three carries for 22 yards. And on the rollout, has a man out of the backfield. And close to the end zone. And on the flare to Obi Obialo. And a great job there by Obialo, turning the corner, stretching the ball, almost getting in. And this is one thing that Ramsey has to, is able to do when you have an athletic quarterback like Isaiah Green. You see the full house backfield here for the herd shifting over. The pile pushing forward. Touchdown. Anthony Anderson didn't get a score last year. He's got one to start 2018. It's a great job right there. Miami held the point, but Anthony Anderson too much. You see him get downhill here. Good job by Miami. The problem is on the on short yardage situations, either at the goal line or in the field. Tyler B. Hames and Couch up front defensively. And Raglan on the keep. Nothing there. You know, that's a design play, and Marshall was waiting for it. The two safeties deep over here. Probably get some extra attention at the bottom of the screen to Gardner. Need to get the football to midfield. Ragland in trouble. He's got to get rid of it. Not only is Marshall's offense in high gear, so is its defense. Juwan Young, though, the fifth-year senior, number four, from defensive end out of Miami, applying some of that pressure right there to Gus Ragland. And this Miami offensive line, which are very good, very gifted, Talented guys have not been able to give Gus Ragland the time he needs or open up the holes for Kenny Young and company. Back to Isaiah Green, redshirt freshman starting quarterback in an offense that's been averaging eight yards a carrier better, and that's Keon Davis, who nearly broke one in the secondary. 
And if you see the push that this herd offensive line is getting up front, they've got these guys on skates, and there's some big dudes up there. Nate Treywick, the 5'11", 316-pound senior out of Richmond, Indiana. He's a beefy guy in the middle. He's one of their leaders physically and emotionally. And these guys are getting packed off the ball right now. Well, at the right tackle spot, you have Tariq Adams, who's 307. Homer mentioned 299. Jordan Dowry making his 37th career start. He's no a small man at 292. And right now, they're just blowing Miami off the ball. Just about a minute remaining in the first quarter. Green to roll out and look. Got a man, 45-yard line. After the catch, a run of 10. They're doing anything they want out there. And a catch by number nine, Marcel Williams. And they said they would move their weapons around. And O has coordinator Tim Cramsey done that. See him with a little sickle pull right there with Jordan Dowry to give Isaiah Green some protection. And then he's able to find Marcel Williams. And this is what happens when you're able to establish the run, electing to go on fourth and six. Miami could use a bigger play defensively here. It's a four receiver set. Three by one and the three to the right at quarterback Green. I like the move though by Doc. It's no man's land. You might as well go. Instead, uh, the redshirt freshman will try a punt. And did they save it? Yes. And they found a backup punter too. It was a great execution. I believe that was Tyree Brady, the star wide receiver. Miami pinned inside its own five and already in a two touchdown hole. Marshall head coach Doc Holliday says number eight, Tyree Brady is the best player in this team. And you can see why not only is a great wide receiver, but also on special teams. Getting it done unselfish and a great execution there. The little quick kick, Isaiah Green lays it up, gets kind of a bad bounce. But Tyree Brady flying in to pin the Red Hawks deep. I like that, a little trickery early in the game here to try to flip some field position. And he'll flank Gardner out to the outside against Chris Jackson. Again, the boundary corner and a good one. Raglan looking for him in man coverage. Gardner battling for it, incomplete. Miami fans would like to see a penalty flag on that play. They'd like to see a penalty flag, and I can understand why James Gardner locked up right there with Chris Jackson, a lot of contact. But if you flip, if you flip it back over, and remember watching Tyree Reddy, you saw a very similar situation. These are big physical receivers. Not a great ball by Ragland. Puts it a little too far inside. Needs to keep it outside where only Gardner can get it. The entire season, that's less than two per game. The pitch to the outside and Young. Tries to make a man miss, and he is cut down after a small game. This is some of the creativity that you like to see out of this Miami offense. George Barnett likes to get some different form formations in here, get Cunny Young on the perimeter. The problem is this Marshall defense is too fast. And right there you see Jalen McLean snap coming up from his corner. Big play for Miami. Close. Marshall says not close enough. Based upon what we saw right here, I don't know if the offensive line got enough of a push. They brought in Alonzo Smith, the big 215 pound fifth year senior, but it looks to me like they might be about a half a yard short, although that's a better spot than I thought. Marshall football. Let's see if Miami's defense could make some stops here. Isaiah Green and first down, another safe pass. Out to Brady, and he is gang tackled past the 35. The spot will be the 36, and a pickup of seven on first down. And a good job there, Isaiah Green, seeing the free access, throwing it out there to Brady. Missed tackle by DeAndre Daniels, but fear not, Brad Kennedy, the senior. Hawks need points, though. They're coming with a corner blitz. And Raglan picks it up and nearly throws it into stands. That was a smart move right there by Raglan just to get rid of the ball. Don't put your defense, your offense in a worse situation than you already had. It's first down. We'll see what this is. Roughing the quarterback potentially. Malik Gant came in on the pressure. Maybe a potential grounding actually on Raglan. Second be a down. loss of down on the play. Yep. Or maybe see guys explode to the perimeter and try to out leverage this Marshall defense. Raglan likes to keep on plays like this. Straight drop back on the release, and it might have been broken up with the line of scrimmage. Bringing us to a fourth down. Dikembe Mutombo would be proud of Daniels on that play, <laughs> would he not? With a wagging finger. 
Now to the near side. And a real pop on Tyler King, but he's very close to picking up the first down and a good defensive hit by Cedric Raymond out of Mobile, Alabama. Miami, uh, Miami losing contain here. It looked like Darius Thompson was the guy who was supposed to be over there and have it, but he comes over and finishes him off nice with a nice little pow to end now that to the thing near right. Side. But it's a green. Nate Trawick making the tackle there. And look at Green snake his way through to the 45 yard line. But that's the other thing that Green can give you. Oh, yes. Give you 12 or 13 yards right there, right on the cusp of a first down. That's the it factor, I think, that his coaching staff talked about that he possesses. And one of the reasons he likely got the start here off the zone read. See him able, he's a strong physical kid, able to try to pick up yards. Isaiah Green from the gun on a third and less than one. Good stiff arm by King's got the first down into that second line of defense and a first down to the 44. It's a great stiff arm right there, I believe, on number 92, Pascal Calacagno. Right on the perimeter, holds the point, gets stiff armed right off, but in a great job there by Tyler King to turn the corner and make the play, pick up that big first down. Second and ten, setting up a screen. And stopping on the clock in the short flare to Keon Davis. We've got Cody Mitchell in the game, their big tight end, 233 pounds. Let's see if they try to run it behind him. Snap to Green. Little bounce to the outside. That's worked nicely on second and third downs. King with a carry. Marshall will keep the football, and we're down to 45 for the first half. Big play for that offense. So Chuck Martin is an accountant by nature. He was an accountant, I think, for 20-some years before he became a football coach. Losing contained to him probably isn't something that's very palpable that he enjoys. No. Green eludes pressure and gets a man on the outside. And Obi Obiello. Obi Obiello on the side doing a great job. The former Oklahoma State Cowboy making the play out of Cuphell, Texas. And a good job by Green. He throws the ball well on the run. Ooh, I think he may have had both feet down right there. Tenth play of the drive. Two timeouts remaining for the herd. Green the throw and man coverage. Caught. Ooh. Tyree Brady at the one yard line and double coverage. Miami's playing man to man right now. Tyree Brady plays the X receiver. He's usually into the boundary. Excuse me, man to man. This is great coverage over here. It's an aggressive. They're letting these guys play. He gets the ball. Looks like he has possession. Gets the one foot. Did he? He's well, got that's that. going to be for review, I think, too. <laughs> Let's no. take a look at this. Great coverage. Brady aggressive. didn't need the one hand, but good uh, job by Brady. Does he get that left foot down or does it just, yeah, it came down right there. He's okay. got it. It hit the ground. This is gonna be a catch. This is an easy, great call by the official right there. This is gonna be an easy replay. This angle, it's tough to tell. It looks like he almost sweeps that foot and it doesn't necessarily get the ground. You can see right there, it kicks up. This should stand. Third ball at the one yard line. Field judge Pat Dolphin with the call there. And again, the ruling was a catch. Oh, yeah, he knows. Hey, what's the big deal here? Why are we holding up the game? Tyree Brady, and you want to talk about watching some, some great football players. Tyree Brady. After further review, the receiver had his left foot down inbounds. He maintained, maintained control of the ball as he went to the ground. It's a catch. The play is confirmed, first down. First and goal. Again, two Marshall timeouts remaining, so can run the football. And even if there's a stop by the Miami defense, it'll have time to run another couple of plays. The great news is for Marshall, you said the two timeouts, so they can pretty much do whatever they want. 24 seconds is plenty of time. Nothing should take too long. Look for him to go to Brady down here at the bottom again. Snap to Green, handoff straight ahead. Touchdown, Marshall. Anthony Anderson, his second of the game. It's a big answer to Miami's 
defensive stops here in the second quarter when the Red Hawks were gaining a little momentum. And as you can see him get behind this big offensive line again, a little split zone. It's something they've run every time on the goal line. They got a much better push here than they were getting earlier in that drive. 28 to 7, that'll dictate the way Miami has to call plays because they'll have to be aggressive to get back in it. To the money man, Tyree Brady on first down. Good way to look at it. I'll try to find the positive in every situation. I can see that second and five in a crossing pattern, and they'll strike. Obiello, first down, Marshall. Running a little simple slant flat combination at the top of the field to Obiello. And does a good job getting inside. Nice strike here by Green. This is a quarterback front friendly play. Very easy. Miami's been in man to man. And he's working right at the top. Miami's run the ball a lot after an incomplete pass. So let's if, see if they stay with that theory to try to give him a third and manageable. Little pitch out, no quarterback keep. Raglan didn't get anything. Miami's front four spelled it out. And it got a little help also for the secondary Malik Gant, number 29, who came up with a stick. And trying to do a little play action there. And you see they're cutting it off. And that's almost looks like it's a designed read. But I Our second half. With time. <laughs> Trying now to, fourth down. Trying to thread it in there to James Gardner at the top on a little seam slant route. And Gus Raglan hasn't been near as accurate here in the third quarter as he was in the second. See, he's got plenty of time. Hot feet. Well, he had a, a defender coming right in the alleyway right there. He still could have slid that in. It's tough because I think it's a great honor, but the problem is he's uh, talking to Chuck Martin and Doc Holliday. It was, it was a similar, similar issue. He goes, you may have eight or nine great senior leaders on your team. You select three or four captains, and then all of a sudden you've got six or seven guys who say, well, why not me? And he goes, they have a great point. So it's a big issue right there. You can see him right there, Kenny coming on the pressure. Tyree Brady getting outside, making some more plays. It's a tough catch by Brady. He's got great hands. The guy's an elite receiver. He's an NFL guy. I would not be surprised to see him drafted next year. You know, fairly high in the NFL draft with his size and speed combination. Originally a member of the U, then transferring to Huntington, West Virginia, and on first down with an effective passing game, a huge hole for Tyler King and another first down. Tyler King upset because you see the size of this hole right here. Miami bringing pressure off the edge. Great job picking it up. It was a good job seaming it. If he breaks that tackle, he knew there was probably 20 or 30 more yards for him to pick up. But this is what we saw in the first quarter yes. out of this Marshall offense. They're able to get a push up front and dictate their will. First and 10, Marshall 40. Green trying to set up a screen. Instead, has got a man. That's King who released and catches inside the 45-yard line. He's not a big pass catcher. Just 12 receptions last year, but a nice reception. There. He has great hands. What you see the play action fake here, they go right after Miles Reed. Who did Miles Reed come in for? Brad Kennig. Yes. We're going to fake the play action, try to sneak him up the rail there in man to man coverage. But it's third and short for Marshall on a drive that started back at the Marshall 10. And that's easy money with this offensive line, a veteran line pushing forward for guys like. Keon Davis. Back to live action in good conditions. Good fake, got a man, that's Brady. Touchdown! And that might be the play that breaks this thing open. Going back down to the bottom of the field. Your boundary corner here, you run some great play action. Not a whole lot of pressure. Isaiah Green having plenty of time. Safety DeAndre Montgomery trying to get over the top. And look at this thing, it just drops right in the bucket. Not really a chance for anyone to make a play out inside the corner, just far enough outside the safety. And this is a. So the new coordinator, Tim Cramsey, over from Sam Houston State, they're very excited about getting him oh, to so Huntington, West Virginia. And this offense looks pretty smooth today. It looks great. And Chuck Martin was talking. He watched film from Sam Houston State, Nevada, <laughs> yeah. Montana State, trying to figure out exactly, because they did different stuff every place. I had no idea what I was going to see today. I think it was 24-7 film watching for him. Raglan under pressure, incomplete. 
And a nice toss there to the perimeter by Raglan, looking at his big target, Luke Mayock. He tried to go to him again, but it wasn't to be. Well, Miami's going to have to find a way to defend these receivers because they, as talented as they are, are performing nicely in the game. And, you know, Tim Cramsey was suggesting to us earlier in the week, talk a lot about Green and his deceptive ability and his ability to make plays, but the fact of the matter is, despite that athleticism, he is a pocket passer, and he's very, very composed. Oh, he sits there, and most of these young quarterbacks, if you don't if you don't pressure them, they're going to feel good in the pocket. The way that high school offenses are, they throw the ball 50 times a game growing up. Green looks very, very confident in the pocket right there. But now you got to see when Miami brings a little pressure, when they bring Kenny McMullen, will he be able to hang in the pocket the same way? They rush four, gets rid of it at the last moment, and that's going to be enough for a first down. Raglan, double, double pump, yep. Gardner. But a flag. And that's what happens when you get right there at the 50. Good offensive coaches want to try to take a shot, catch the defense napping. Miami's done that a couple of times. Looks like they're picking up a PI right here. Maybe a defensive hold. Pass interference, number seven, defense. 15 yards, automatic first down. And now into Marshall territory are the Red Hawks. You saw what they did right there. They were able to put Garner to the field, so he was getting on McLean Sapp. Not the best corner. That would be Chris Jackson, who's always on the boundary. You get that mismatch there. You're on the double move. You see the pump fake come in. And James Garner does a good job selling it. And I'm surprised he didn't come down with this catch because it was a very well-thrown ball. To where it's almost dead even at 22 minutes apiece. Two in the backfield. Second man gets it. Smith held up and gang tackle for nothing. They've been pounding it with Smith earlier. You see him, I think he could have probably held the point a little bit, tries to bounce it outside. There was nothing out there though. A great read there by Chase Hancock, the former walk-on, the leader of that defense, preseason all-conference. That's why he's received that type of recognition. Now third and goal from the two. Ragland looking and firing out of the end zone. Fourth down. Max Sorensen, number 13, back in the lineup for Miami on fourth and goal. Loaded box for Marshall. Ragland fakes, looks over the middle, incomplete. It's a goal line stand for the Thundering Herd. And that's not all bad. They go to James Gardner. They try to get their big play guy on the slant at the top. He's matched up with the number one corner, Chris Jackson for Marshall. That's the battle you want. You see Raglan hangs in there, surveys it, comes back. He wants his guy, and they're letting him play. They're letting him play. Chris Jackson does a great job cutting off. Garner in the end, they'll be able to get the ball back with great field position. But Brad Kenny walked up over the center, looked for him to run a little stunt, a little man action. And as a result, they find a seam in that secondary and get the first down at a 20. Big play. So they tried to cover up every defense, every uh, lineman up there. Brad Kennig walked. They give it back to Keon Davis, though, and they weren't able to make the play. Look at him use his speed, get through the hole right there. How about the block by Levi oh, Brown, 61? Levi Brown, and that's why he's a guy that's on the Remington watch list right there. He's a veteran player. You, and that's big. That's a huge weapon if you're a school like Miami, so you don't have to face these elite athletes of Marshall in open space. This one could be returned, though. Let's see how Cincinnati or Miami handles it. King bounces off one. 30 still going. Good return for Ty King. And so instead of starting for the 25, Miami unable to make a stop and pretty good field position for Marshall. Well, I said it only takes one miss hit by the kicker, and that's what you saw right there. Ty King has a chance to bounce outside. Number 78, the kicker flying up trying to make that play right there, or 79. 17. Let's see if Isaiah Green could pull Marshall out of the hole. Miami rushing four. Green outside Brady. And a catch made. That's a remarkable catch by Tyree Brady. And they are letting these guys play on the outside. DeAndre Daniels had a fistful of jersey. He did. It's a well-thrown ball by Isaiah Green. I and mean, this is this looks like 1990s football. Look at that. He's pulling on the inside of that arm. Brady makes the great catch. Now Miami's got to pick up 20 on third down. 
Just don't make a mistake if you're Gus Ragland. Good, good call. So that with a give up play, they gain maybe a yard or two. You're going to get another shot, but you have to make sure that you get that other shot by getting the ball to be punted away and not an interception. Tyler King from around the 40. Look out. Here he goes. Man the beat. King still with the ball. Down at a 10 yard line. What a play by Tyler King. So you can kick it in the end zone on kickoffs, but when you punt it, you don't want to hang it down the middle of the field to a guy like Tyler King. Catching it between the hashes, pretty good blocking there. No flags, no blocking the backs or holds that I see. A great job. I'll tell you this, the guys, his uh, teammates are going to be giving him some crap, though, when he heads to the locker room tonight. The guy that slows him up is the, is the punter at the yeah. end of that play. But he gets downhill in a hurry, a 44-yard punt and a 50-yard return. If Chuck Martin knew that, he probably just would have went for it on fourth and 19. Oh, yes. If for some reason you gave up a sack, then you'd be in a situation where you might be concerned. With man coverage to the end zone, penalty flag on the play. Brady, touchdown! Well, that is a great play by Tyree Brady. I think you're going to get defensive pass interference on this, but it doesn't matter because Brady came down with the ball. What a catch by Kid Destin to play on Sundays, Monday nights, and Thursdays. And what a call for Marshall. So much for being conservative, looking for three. They'll take six. You know, I'm surprised they threw the flag right there. That's looked like every other. Every we highlight him at the beginning, and he is probably better than advertised. Oh, he's done a great job. You see him catching the slip screen, getting upfield, using some of that physical prowess that he has to get inside, make some guys miss, pull some ball carriers. Then you see him here, a little quick kick by Isaiah Green, playing some special teams gunner, keeping that ball out of the end zone, helping to pin Miami back. And then obviously the plays that you've seen all, all across the field, going downtown, being able to fight off a pass interference penalty, doing a great job coming down with the football, getting one foot in. Unbelievable play by Tyree Brady, and that is why, folks, he will be playing on Sundays. And I think eventually Green may be playing on Sundays, too, because he throws a gorgeous ball. He does throw a very pretty ball. He runs well. The guy seems very poised for a freshman. Gus Ragland in trouble. And broken up at the line of scrimmage. This is a bad situation. Fourth and 15 here. There's not a whole lot of plays in the playbook for this team. Let's see what Marshall rushes Bobby at this point. Four on the line of scrimmage. Now a five receiver set. They'll rush four, drop seven. Ragland broken up line of scrimmage. Over on downs to Marshall. So depending on when the reset comes, this likely is the last play of the game, particularly if quarterback decides to run a few seconds here. If the quarterback runs around for five seconds, That'll do it. then just knees it out, it'll be done. And Good snap. Quarterback get, keep. Get down. That should do it. Get down. <laughs> Why are you taking a hit, Isaiah? Get to the ground, son. <laughs> Hey, don't let that guy come in with the tomahawk and chuck that ball out. You slide it out, man. So Marshall begins the 2018 season with a win on the road. And Miami drops its opener on homecoming, the final. Decided by seven points. What are our takeaways today? Takeaways that both of these teams, I think, have elite receivers. They both, I think, realize what type of quarterback they have. Miami knew they had Gus Raglan. I believe Marshall found out a lot about Isaiah Green. And both of these teams are able to play and make big plays at times.